In this section, we'll be discussing Streptococcus pneumoniae, which you can see on our overview figure right here. This scene takes place in the autumn season, and the characters you'll see here are shown harvesting the crops and cleaning up the mess. So it's kind of like a fall harvest scene. The lawnmower in this scene was just purchased in order to make the fall harvest and cleanup easier. New mower sounds like pneumonia, so the new mower represents Streptococcus pneumoniae. You see the news tag on this brand new mower? This is to help you remember that it's a new mower. So new mower, strep pneumonia. Notice anything else about the mower? That's right, it's an incredibly ugly purple color. This is to help you remember that strep pneumonia is a gram positive organism. So just like in other videos, the purple represents gram positive. This is a gram stain of streptococci. First off, notice that the organism stains purple, which is why it's a gram positive organism. And second, notice that the bacteria are circular or cocci shaped and that they form long, continuous chains. So the morphology we see here is unique to streptococci. Now we've added some alfalfa to the scene. This is to help you remember that streptococcus pneumoniae is alpha hemolytic. So alfalfa for alpha hemolytic. This is a figure of the three types of hemolysis, which we discussed in more detail in section seven, which is our video on listeria. Again, alpha hemolysis looks like this. Notice the green appearing zone of partial hemolysis surrounding the colony. Okay, let's return to the image. Notice that now we've added this silly looking chin hero guy who's riding the mower. He's a bit sensitive about his chin, so throughout his life, he's had to overcompensate for this by exercising, as you can tell by his humongous muscles. The fact that he has a massive looking chin and is sensitive about it should help you remember that strep pneumonia is optotion sensitive. So sensitive chin man for optotion sensitive. We discussed this figure in section nine, which is our video on the Viridens group streptococci, but recall that if there is clearing around a disc saturated with optotion, then the organism is optotion sensitive. Notice that there is a large zone of clearing directly adjacent to this disc. So if this were an optotion disc, then the organism here would be optotion sensitive. For step one, you need to know that streptococcus pneumoniae is optotion sensitive. Next, notice that we've added some interesting looking lances and tridents on the mower. This is why the Optotion man purchased the new mower in the first place. He needed some sharp new blades to help him with the fall harvest. It appears that these gadgets are working well at cutting down the alfalfa. Let's talk about the lances first. The lances on the back of the mower have been included in this image to help you remember that Streptococcus pneumoniae has a lancet-shaped diplococci appearance under the microscope. So lances for lancet-shaped. 